Today we'll be speaking about data protection in the blockchain uh, environment. Data protection has been gaining importance in the last few years and because a lot of technological devices and, and, and entities uh, collect data of individuals and companies. On the blockchain system, we also have the same issue, but because everything is registered, we have a higher problem. And because everything is registered and cannot be erased, we even have a new problem which we have to deal with. In fact, data protection legislation is supposed to be neutral concerning technologies, but it is clearly not adapted to the world of blockchain where everything is simply made in layers and everything is registered and is never forgotten. So we have two issues here. We have legislation and we have on the other side blockchain system and we have problems that we need to address because I'm, I, I think in the future we need to adapt data protection to the blockchain environment. We'll be speaking about these issues today with Ricardo Lopes and the problems that have been arising in our clients due to blockchain and data protection. So these issues of data protection, how do you think they should be addressed by persons and companies? Well, I, I, I think that um, we have a general data protection regulation that has been in force uh, for, 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 for some time. Uh, and the data protection regulation uh, is aimed mostly at the protection of the individual's data. And uh, as such, it has certain principles uh, that have to be complied with. And the problem is uh, blockchain uh, although it has the capacity to be an excellent instrument to process the data, uh, it still poses some difficulties. Um, I would say that well, uh, blockchain has, I would say, four main characteristics, which is an, an, an security, which is amazing because it would definitely assist in the compliance with the principles of data safety that are foreseen in the general data protection regulation. But this Principles of enhanced security uh, also are related with other principles of uh, characteristics of the blockchain, like immutability, decentralization, distributed ledger, which pose some difficulties in compliance with the, 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 the block uh, with the, the between blockchain and the general data protection uh, requirements. Uh, Tiago, you addressed that uh, one of the principles is the of the blockchain or the characteristics of blockchain is the immutability which means that uh, what is in the blockchain uh, remains in the blockchain. And this has some issues uh, or may create some difficulties in complying with the general data protection regulation, in particular that the principles of data minimization uh, and the principles of the limitation of purposes, because uh, as long as the data is not being actual or being required, there's a if it's still processed and it's still available, uh, then it's not complying with these principles. In the other hand, this may, may create some difficulties in, 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 in the application of uh, the, uh, the individual's rights, uh, in, respect of, in particular of the rights of rectification and the erasure of, the, of their data uh, in certain situations, uh, which means because of this principle of the immutability, it may be hard to do it. The other issue is that general data protection regulation was built or constructed or created in a way where where it was um, in the assumption that there is a, a, a legal entity which is the responsible for the data, which is the data controller. And in the case of uh, blockchain, where there is a decentralized uh, environment, where which means that there is no central authority, uh, this means that uh, it's hard to determine in certain situations who is the data controller. That's not always the case because blockchain can be used as a decentralized platform, but 
control or used by uh, a, a, a legal entity, but there's still issues who would be data control if there would if the other participants in the network would be joint controllers or data processors. And this issue is also related, also arises from the distributed ledger, which means that the data uh, is uh, stored in different nodes from the on, on, on the network. So it's shared among the participants of the network. And the question that arises here is that is that data could be qualified as private data, personal data, or not? Because usually it's only parts of the data that is there, and there is also the issues of anonymization and so on. So that's a lot of things that have to be addressed. This does not mean that uh, blockchain cannot be used as a tool to comply with data protection regulations, but it means that uh, when building a blockchain system, um, that these matters should be taken in consideration from the beginning. I think so. I fully agree with you, and uh, that's that's why we are speaking about this. We can address these issues when uh, creating creating the structures in order to comply as much as possible with the data protection legislation. Also, because data protection legislation has some differences, but it's applicable worldwide, uh, and uh, and anything done in blockchain is applicable worldwide and can be accessed worldwide. So we need to address those issues. Thank you. Thanks, bye.